worship you this morning in Psalm 8 is fine. oh Lord our God how excellent is thy name in all the earth who has set thy glory above the heavens out of the mouth of babes and suckling thou has ordained strength because of thy enemies that thou might still the enemy and the avenger when I when you consider the, thy heavens and thy work of thy hands the moon and the stars which thou has ordained who are we what a man that thou art mindful of us and a son of man that thou visited us for thou had made him a little lower than the angel and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl in the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the part of the sea. O Lord, our Lord. How excellent is the name, is thy name on all the earth. Shall we all rise up this morning? I want you to exalt the name of the Lord. He has been good to you. He kept you from January up to today. You heard the testimony of my brother. He was involved in a car accident and the Lord kept him. If it has not been for the Lord on your side, do you think you will be here again in the month of May to celebrate God? It is only the living that can, that can praise God. He kept you from last year till today. He took the siege of COVID out. He kept you even though you don't have the insurance. Even the best doctors could not save people during COVID. And here you are in your right mind, in your right senses. You can walk. You can talk. You are not on a ventilator. You are not on oxygen. And here you are. You are still worried about what God hasn't done. But have you thanked him for what he has done? Do you know how many people started the same race with you? And they are no longer alive. The Bible says it's not by power, it's not by might. But God has showed mercy. He has given us grace. That's why we are standing here this morning. I just want us to ascribe all praises, all honor, all adoration to that King of Kings. Uh, the Lord of Lords, Father, we bless you this morning. We join the 20 and 4 elders, O oh God, to worship you this morning. To say thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for keeping us to see the month of May. Father, we bless you. Father, we give you all the glory. Lord, we give you all the honor. Holy Spirit, as we go into your word this morning, speak your word. Not my word, oh God. Lord, you have a specific word for someone here this morning. Lord, I pray that let people receive your word with faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every doubt, Lord, I pray that you will take it away. Father, we pray that even at the end of today's service, oh God, all the glory will be yours, all the blessings will be ours, and the shame belongs to the devil. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we have prayed. If you are alive, jams those hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's nice to be back again in Jesus' house, Huntsville, where God is always doing something new. If you guys can see it, even blind Bartimaeus like me can see it. And I can feel it. I pray that the, the, the Lord that has started with you will continue to perfect it in the mighty name of Jesus. And here, pastor told me I have two hours to, to preach. So please fasten your seatbelt. Amen. Um, 
Hon Jesus House Onville is always a home to me because your pastor married my sister. And as a, as, as a result of that, that's how he became my friend. So if you ask me to pick which one I would take out of the two, they are on the same level. They are wonderful people. You know one of the qualities that you will know if somebody is good? Nobody needs to tell you about who they are. You will find out yourself. You see, when someone is hungry and they are weak, they are hungry, you don't know whether they are humble. Because sometimes situation and circumstances will humble you. Not until when you give them food, when you give them energy, that's when you will know if they are good. Ten leopards were hungry and Jesus fed them. It was only one that was good that came back to say thank you. Your pastor is like one of those leopards that came back to say thank you. All I can say this morning, I'm not here to blow his trumpet, is a good man. When you look at a good man, look at his life, look at his children, look at his wife, look at whatever he touches. He's blessed. So, I just want you to let you know that your pastor is blessed. I've met him the very first time he came to the United States, and ever since then, we've been friends. I don't have too many friends, but I can say he's one of my friends. This morning, so please, let's, let's celebrate Pastor Peter Oyedino. Let's, let's celebrate him. Sometimes I used to think he's an Igbo man. And when I see all the people that surround him, I'm like, Pastor, what's going on? Amen. And beside, not behind, because you have to be careful of who is behind you. Beside a successful man, there's a woman that is doing the job. When you see Pastor all packaged, well put together, let him be alone for one week. You know the truth. There's a woman behind it. Let's celebrate our, our pastor, our prophetess for all the wonderful job you are doing. And my love to all the leaders, the ordained ministers here in Jesus House Onsville for always accommodating me. Quickly, our time is fast spent. I've been blessed so far. Even if I say God bless you, I'm ready to go home. I'm blessed by the ministration, the song, the quality of the music. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. These are things that you go out there and pay for. Church folks, we are just cheap people. Please bless all these wonderful instrumentalists. They, they, they are wonderful. So that's not my message. Now let me go to my message. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor the siege is over. You may not believe it, but God is telling someone today, whether you believe or not, the siege is already over. In the book of 2 Kings that we read, and the man of God, Elisha replied, and he told them, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Not Pastor Peter, not Pastor Olu. No. He says that about this time tomorrow, hmm, about this time next month, about this time in the next nine months, Someone that has been barren is about to give birth to a twins. <laughs> you are in for a big one today. You see this, I'm not used to this regalia, so please bear with me. He says that by this time, the finest flower, the best car, the best woman out there will be sold for a shekel and two shares of barley at the gate of Samaria. Do you know what a siege is? Let me give you the Webster definition of siege. Perhaps if you don't know. Currently, Ukraine is under siege. When a military operation in which the enemy forces surround you as an individual, a town, a city, a nation, cutting off all the essential supplies that you need for survival. Taking the things that belongs to you. Forcing you out of your inheritance. And with aiming to compelling you to surrender of those inside. To subdue you. To take your glory. But God is telling you that that siege is over. <laughs> the 
fam the family of Joseph knew that he had a calling upon his life. And they wanted to extinguish that calling by killing him. But when the siege was over, the Lord made an escape route. I'm speaking to someone here today. The threat that the enemy has set for you, there was going to be an escape route for you. Any unforeseen death, any calamity, any plague, any diseases that will make you to say, Lord, where are you? Will not be your portion this month in the mighty name of Jesus. It's God that is saying it, not me. The God, God is telling someone here this morning, that siege of failure is over. Amen. There's grace in the house. The siege can be a prolonged period of misfortune. <laughs> and see what the Lord said. He says that when men are cast down, then thou shalt say there's a lifting up and it shall save the humble person. To every season there's a time and purpose under the heaven in the book of second corinthians 4 8 9 tells us that we are hard pressed on every side but you've been crushed but not perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not abandoned struck down but not destroyed in the book of job it says there's still a hope for a tree Perhaps there's someone here this morning, you are sitting here, and it seems there's no hope, there's no life. Where can I turn to? All my hopes, they've, they've failed me. But in the book of Job says that at the scent of a water, life is coming back. I speak life to every dead situation here this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Every marriage that has been dead, Lord will revive it in the mighty name of Jesus. The siege is over. Amen. I want you to be saying that to yourself. That the siege over your life, over your business, over your finances, it's over in the mighty name of Jesus. Quickly, God uses unusual people to lift the siege. Now, the thing about it is this. There are some people that knows better than you. The economic advisor to the governor, they are Christians. How do I know? Look at verse 2. The officer on whom the king's arm were leading, they said to the man of God that you must be losing it. You're crazy. Look, even if the Lord should open the floodgates of heavens, this can never happen. Everyone that is saying that you will not get your promised land, the Lord will remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, there's nothing stopping all of us from shining. Of what good is it when you have one rich person in your church and everybody else is poor? Then consider everybody as poor. But you know, it's not a bad thing if you come to Jesus' house, Huntsville, and you see a couple of Rolls Royce and Lexus. Amen. Let people just come and say you need to go through that African church. God is moving. Stop hating. Bless those. Rejoice with those who are rejoicing. Enough. Enough of just, you know, sometimes we come to church and you just go home angry. Look at the, look at the shoe pastor is wearing. You better lay hands on that shoe and covet it and say, Father, I'm asking for double portion. Press down. Shaking together and running over. Please don't go and pray over a pastor's wife. Oh, you'll be in trouble. God uses unusual people. And that's why oh, people might have given up on you. But God hasn't given up on you. The stone that the builder has rejected. Oh, God is taking you and is refining you. And is repolishing you. By the time you come and give your testimony. Then go here where... 
You are not feeling me, church. I know what I'm talking about. Where they said nothing good can come out of your life. That you, you are a black sheep. That black sheep is going to become the black horse. That when you come, there are some things that has to be done. They have to wait for you. David was born out of wedlock. Literally, he was an illeg illegitimate son. But the people that went to Yale, Princeton, his brothers, they had to wait and give him a standing ovation when he wanted to be anointed. I'm telling someone this month, <laughs> where you have been rejected, you will be celebrated. <laughs> They've turned you down that you are not you, you are not qualified for that position. Are they God? God that can reverse the irreversible. That can put a red carpet on the Red Sea. He turned the Red Sea to an aquarium. That people were looking left and right. I said, look at Shaq, look at Shaq. Your deliverance is along the way. Yeah. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Second yeah. Kings chapter 7 verse 3. They said now there were four men. Their name, they could not even recognize their name. They were calling them lepers. I don't know what name people have been calling you. They are calling you because of your inadequacies. They've labeled you. These people were born by a woman, just like you and I. But because of their mishap, it wasn't their fault that they were leopards. But things, bad things happen to good people. They were just unfortunate in the wrong place at the wrong time and something happened. And the Bible says that the four men are leopards. They were at the entrance of a beautiful gate. All their lives, they see people going and coming, marrying. But God said, enough is enough. God is telling someone here this morning, enough is enough. The line is about to be broken. All these eyes that have been monitoring you from village, God is sending thunder to them in Jesus' name. Everything that is telling you that as your building is coming down, God will put a stop to that in the mighty name of Jesus. All your dreams and aspirations that has been aborted, the Lord has said no more abortion. The project that you have started and you have not finished, the Lord said there's a turnaround. That project, you will finish it. In the presence or in the absence of your enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Four lepers, and they said to one another, why do we have to stay here and die? You see, sometimes God will give you an insight when a siege is over. You have to internalize it. God will tell you, don't be afraid. You may have to take some chances this month. If God is for you, who can be against you? Quickly, because of time, God uses unusual people so please, don't look down on anyone. Do you know that if I had looked down on Pastor Peter when I met him how many years ago, I wouldn't be here today. But I saw him as a brother. Even at some point in time, I said, Pastor, I'm not your friend. I'm done with my assignment. Let me go. He said, no. Our relationship is like Jonathan and David. He said, no. I said, please, just go. I'm done. Pastor, you are from Oshogbo. I'm from Lagos. Pastor, Pastor said, no. Oh, is he bad? Done? What's the difference? <laughs> Pastor said, no. When I'm out of town, the first thing people will ask me is, are you coming from Alabama? As if it's the only Alabama that is only in, the, in, in, in America. So when the siege is over, God uses the unusual people. And that's why you and I are qualified. Not by works, it's by grace. And the grace that you are celebrating this month will work for you. When grace speaks, people keep quiet. When grace speaks, it shuts down the mouth of the enemy. 
I speak grace to your life this morning. May you receive the grace of God in every facet of your life. Ah, what is not enough? This month will be more than enough. Everybody is talking about uh, what is it? Is it inflation? Whatever it is. Because you are not working under the economy of government. You are working with the kings of kings. The lord of lords. The ones that owns the cattle. The gold, the silver, the diamonds are his. He's the one that is telling you that you should go forth. I will be with you. So God uses unusual people. He used the leopards. And not only that he did he use the leopard, he used them to be a blessing to the nation. Point number two, God used the widow of Zarephath to feed a one of God. Why would God use a widow? Those are the less privileged in the society, even till today. And God told Elijah, man of God, I have made a provision for you. There's a provision that has been made with your name on it that will not elude you this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Even if they take it to the wrong address, they will send it to you. They gave a specific instruction in 1 Kings 17. If you read the story from 17 to 16, it says that sometime later, the brook dried up and there was no rain. So there was a siege. There was, starv- there was People were starving. And this widow only had a handful. There was not even enough. But God told Elijah, please don't look at the circumstances that you're seeing. Oh. People are looking at the circumstances that you are going through. But sooner, very soon, they will come and see the glory of God. <laughs> hmm. What people thought is impossible with men, but with God, some things, all things are po- Everything will be possible for you this month. God using unusual people. And that's why you shouldn't write anybody off in your life, in your church. You don't know whom God can use. Don't, don't look at them. They may wear slippers to your church. Don't look at them. They may not be properly dressed. They're not speaking the right Queen's English. Is that what you're going to take to the bank? Naaman has accomplished what he is in his career. He had a limitation. And there was a help made in Naaman's house. And look at 2 Kings chapter 5. Now, Naaman, the commander of the army of the king of Aram, he was a great man in the sight of his master and he was highly regarded. You know, they gave him all the accolades because through him the Lord had given victory to Aram, success all around. He was a valiant soldier, but he had leprosy. He was limited, just like those people that had leopard. But God sent a helper of destiny into his house. Please, let's be good to people around us. Leaders, let's be good. You don't know the new sister that is coming in that you are saying, ah, look at her, she looks like a go-go dancer. That might be the next Esther of, that will help you out. We were, once, we were once a sinner. Don't look down on anybody. Don't judge them on the way they dress. Leave them. Are you God? Let God walk through them. Let them be. Those children that you think are pastor, these ones are not good. Very soon, those are the ones that will be on the headline of the newspaper here in Huntsville. Don't be discouraged. If it has not been for God, you think some of us will come to Christ with all the things and all the places that we've been? If it's not for God that paid that price, even till today, some people are shocked to call me pastor like, ah, you can be a pastor. Some of the best party in towns, I will organize it. They know us. Once we come like, ah, those boys are they're around again. Our neighbors knows us. They don't sleep at night. But all of a sudden, the siege is over. <laughs> Hallelujah. It, it can only be God. Amen. God uses unusual people. So what happened? Let me quickly talk about what happens when the siege is over. 
when a siege is over, you will receive unusual kindness. That's one of the things that you see. Unusual. When they are telling you that this thing, this project cannot be done, somebody can just tell you, Pastor, I have solution to your problem. Just like the pastor said today that there's a project. Don't you think you deserve a good bathroom? You go to five-star restaurants, you go to nice places, you see, the, you see the restroom. Why can't the church have the state of art of everything? We have a God that is, that is, that is good, that is everything. You receive unusual favor. In, first, uh, in Second Samuel chapter 9, David asked, is there anyone left in the house of Saul whom I can show kindness to? And the only person that was available was Mephibosheth. And Mephibosheth was in Lodiba. And they said, go and get him right now. I'm telling someone here this afternoon, you will receive a phone call. You will receive an email inviting you to the White House. Where nobody thought in your family you can make. <laughs> all of a sudden, they will start seeing you all over the TV. That will be your portion. When the siege is lifted up, you receive double honor for your trouble. Some of you, you've been troubled. You've gone through so much pain. But the Lord is telling you, you will receive double for your trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Esther chapter 6 talk about Mordecai was honored. In Esther chapter 6, it says that night that the king could not sleep. He ordered the book of the Chronicles... And he brought, they brought it to him and at night the king could not read and he asked somebody to come and read to him. And they were reading. Why must it be that same person? Are there no other books they could read? Ah, the Lord will remember you for good. They now read it and they realized that someone had helped the king to disclose something bad that could have happened to the king. And he was not honored. And the king said, what did they do to that person? Nothing. Some of us, we have done good and we have been forgotten. Because the siege is over, you shall be remembered for good. They will promote you in the mighty name of Jesus. Point number three, you will receive God's abundant blessing when the siege is over. We remember the story in, in Genesis chapter 26. When God was talking to Isaac to stay in that place, not to leave. There was a famine in the land. But the Bible recorded in Genesis 26, 12, that Isaac planted crops in that land. In that same year that people are talking about scarcity. That they are talking about inflation. That he reaped hundredfold. Why? Because the Lord blessed him. May the Lord bless someone here this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. Point number four, as I round up. You will recover all that has been stolen. Do I hear an amen? amen? The Bible says that the years that the locust and the canker worm has eaten, the God is telling you that he's going to repay you. Amen. Not just only to repay you, he will give you dividend. Amen. Over all the years, I'm not just talking about compounded dividend over all your pain. The Bible says that Naomi left a place, the city full, and she relocated. And it got to a point in her life that she lost everything that she had. Even she had to, she said, I need to change my name. That my name is not Naomi anymore. My name is bitterness. I mean, there's nothing for me to show for my life. She said, I left full with my husband and my children. I relocated to America. Look at me. Look at the job that I'm doing. What will I show people back home that this is what I've, I've, I've accomplished? No degree to show for. Nothing. I left full. Now I'm going back empty. May you not go back empty in Jesus' name. May shame be taken away from you. God is telling you that he's taking a garment of shame and he's giving you a garment of praise. Lord is about to give you a new song that you're going to be singing in the month of May in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody will say, come and see the Lord is good. I want you to rise upon your feet. 
Come and see the Lord is good. There is nothing he cannot do. Come and see the Lord is good. Somebody's going to sing. He has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy. I want you to pray for yourself this morning or this afternoon. One prayer point. I will use that prayer point as an umbrella. I will use it as an umbrella prayer point. When I say an umbrella prayer point means that prayer point carries a lot of things. Solomon, God asked Solomon, what do you want? He said, God, give me your wisdom so I can lead your people. But he didn't know that he was asking for prosperity. He was asking for other things. That wisdom carried a lot of things. I want you to cry to the Lord Almighty this morning. Today is the first of May. The Father, this month I shall experience turnaround. Lord, you will lift me up financially, spiritually, materially. Everything that I touch in this month of May, I will receive grace. I will receive favor. I want you to start praying for yourself. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. The Lord, grace, let grace locate us. Because the siege is over, over my life, over your city, over your circumstances, the siege is over. Father, we exalt you. Thank you, Father Lord. We bless you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. <laughs> In Haggai 2 9 says that the glory of this later house shall be greater than the former, meaning all things have passed away. Failure has passed away. Inadequacies have fallen away. Not enough has passed away. Sickness is gone. Barrenness is gone. And he says that, said the Lord God of hosts, that in this place, I will give you peace. Peace at your business. Peace in your marriage. Peace in your finances. Said the Lord of hosts. I want you to just receive it and just bless the Lord. Let's bless the Lord because we are about to go into the times of thanksgiving. Father, we receive your word this morning, oh God. The gift that no man can give. Father, come and bestow it upon each and every one of us that are here this morning or even hearing online or watching online. Father, we release that blessing, O oh God, over your church, over your people, over the city of Huntville, Alabama, O oh God, that your church will never remain the same. The gates of hell will not prevail against your church, that we are marching from victory to victory, marching from power to power, from strength to strength, from glory to glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We give you all the praise. Brethren, I want you to stretch forth your hands to your pastor that the Lord Almighty will satisfy his mouth with good things. The Lord has made him the head, he will never be the tail. That the Lord will increase him, increase his family in the mighty name of Jesus. He will be blessed. That the Lord will continue to be with him. The anointing and the calling upon of God upon his life. That he will continue to do great exploit in this city. Every time we hear concerning him, it will be testimony of goodness. No evil will come close to you, nor your family, nor your wife, nor your children. As mountains surround Jerusalem, the Lord Almighty will surround you. As you are starting another new year tomorrow, favor, unmerited favor, grace is available. Favor is available. Father, we exalt you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious mighty name we have prayed. Let's jam those hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. That is, that is not good enough for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's jump those hands. If you know that you have received your victory, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Thank you very much for watching that very wonderful video. I hope and I know that your life has been transformed by the sermon or the ministration you just watched right now. I want you to do one thing for me if you've not done it already. I want you to subscribe to this YouTube platform. I want you to click on, click on notification bell so that you can get updates on when we post um, our videos. I want you to also share this video with your friends and family if you feel that someone needs it. I want you to share it to them so that you can also inspire them. I want you to also give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the comment section. If you done all these things thank you very much for doing them and if you've not done them please do it right now god bless you